Hi, it's Mary Jo. I just want to come and encourage you through scripture. And today I'd like to talk to you about pain and experiencing pain and um, what we learn from it. Uh, the other day I was trimming my fingernails and I cut down a little too short, nicked the skin. I was like, oh man, that's going to hurt for a week because you know you do everything with your hands. And uh, when you cut down the nail too far, it's very tender. And until that nail starts to grow back out, you're going to feel that with everything you do and touch. And I was like, God, please don't let it be painful. Just, I don't care what it looks like, just take away the pain. And I heard God tell me that without the experience of pain, I am more likely to cut it that low again because we are always doing, 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 busy, busy, busy. And I'll just start cutting because I'm not thinking, I'm thinking, we usually tend to think about 20 things at once. And uh, if I go to cut again and I experienced a week of pain, I'm going to remember, hey, I'm not going to cut that low. We grow when we experience pain. We need the pain as reminders. And even Jesus knew that when he was going on the cross to be killed. He said, he knew he was going to experience pain. He said, Lord, please take this cup from me. But if it's your will, then, you know, let it be done. We got to remember to choose God's will over our own. And, you know, our flesh is so strong and our spirit it can be very weak. The, the flesh is so demanding and overpowering overpower, unless we fill it up with the Holy Spirit in our spirit. And the only way to do that is to read and pray and worship God and fill our spirit up to be stronger than our flesh. Because our flesh is always going to cave in and give in and, and, and do what we want and whatever pleases us. The Bible says that everything is permissible for us but not everything is beneficial. Like I know today was Thanksgiving and I saw all the good desserts and I probably would have ate half of what's on there. But I knew that what would happen if I did that. It's not beneficial for me. I would have felt miserable. I wouldn't have been no good to anybody. I just want to come home and sleep and then I would feel guilty for eating all that. And it's just a, it's a, a cycle. And everybody has their own weaknesses, uh, whether it be drugs, alcohol, whatever it is that you turn to when you feel overwhelmed or, or depressed, we got to learn to turn to the Word. And it does work. I know unless you try to pull it out and start reading, God will give you scriptures to you know, brighten your day. You got to do it in order to see if it works. Don't just say, oh, that don't work. Try it first. But anyway, I, to experience pain, we have to do that in order to grow because we are getting to the time, it says, Rouse the warriors, prepare for war, because in the end times it's going to be a war. You're not going to be able to. Uh, he's trying to make us strong. We can't be weak. And if everything is handed to us on a silver platter, we're not going to be warriors. Or we're going to be expecting people to to give us what we want when that's not the way war goes we have to fight we have to learn to fight we have to be strong and firm and know what we believe you have to know god and what he says in his word in order to believe it and stand firm on it just like if a parent were to continue to always cut their their child's meat or always tie their shoe and never teach them and not only teach them how to do it, but make them do it. Because you know how kids say, oh, I don't want to tie my shoes. And the mom's like, oh, just come on, we're running late already. And she ties them real quick and gets out the door. And before you know it, the child's a preteen, doesn't know how to tie a shoe. That's what God is doing. He loves us. When you go through things, don't, don't think that God doesn't love you. He's doing it to try to mature you and make you stronger as a Christian. So when Satan attacks you, you know what to say, you know what to do, and you won't crumble. You won't fall. And yes, we all fall. We fall, and you know, God knows that we're all sinners. But you got to skip back in the Word, fill up with the Holy Spirit, and then you won't fall as much. The more you stay in the Word, the more you hang around other believers. That's a big thing, too. If you, if you hang around everybody that's not a believer, your flesh is going to start thinking, you know, there goes that measuring. Your spirit and your flesh, your spirit has to outweigh the flesh in order for you to win these battles. He's trying to prepare you for the end times and for the war when who knows what it's going to be like. As long as you believe in God and trust Him, you got to and, and be a warrior and fight for what you believe. And how can you fight for something you believe if you don't know what you believe?
And don't take anybody's word for it. You have to get in the word yourself. Just because somebody says they're a preacher or somebody is talking about the Bible doesn't mean that they're saying truthful things. Always go in the Bible and check out what they said if it's true. Because that, Satan uses that all the time to twist it, you know, the words around the, the Bible. He knows it very well. He did it to Eve in the garden when she tried to eat the um, fruit from the tree. He said, surely God didn't say you couldn't eat from this tree. He, he twists the words around and he uses that all the time. So please stay in the word. Just read it and just keep asking. If, if it's so uninteresting to you and miserable to read, get a book about it and then just pick out verses and then and ask God to help you to you know learn to like it and show you what to read and, and he will because he sees your heart and if you truly want to read and learn to um, learn from the Bible he will help you but you have to really believe it from your heart and then he will I want to um, encourage you to stay strong and God bless you and remember, if your life is too easy and you don't feel like you're and you're not having any problems, then uh, maybe there's something not right there because we're living in the enemy's territory, and we're never going to have it completely the way we want it here. So God bless you. Stay in the Word.